Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Or maybe this is your first time here and welcome for showing up. Um, today, I'm going to do something a little different. I'm waiting out this uh, Tropical Storm Debbie. So, um, I got the new canoe gear pod in last week. My wife got it for me for our anniversary and my birthday. So, I'm going to unbox it and show you all that and my, kind of my first impressions of it. And then I also bought stuff to put upgrades on it. So we're going to get after it and show the unveiling and then get to work on it. And I'll show you whatever, everything that I'm doing. So enough of me blabbing and let's get started. All right. So as I said, I have not opened this, have not looked at it. You know, obviously doing research of it, of it online has been it so far. So let's get this thing open and just kind of see. I can't imagine there's a whole lot here to kind of really look at it first but um kind of here's what you see it's got little handles under each side here to where you can pick it up carry it around seems to have a pretty decent handle on the front um it's got some gear tracks where what i'm going to be doing i'm going to mount my camera here and my fish finder on here and then i'm going to put power inside of this with plugs mounted somewhere, probably on the front here. Um, but just seems to have a little rubber strap. Open it up. Looks like a pretty good gasket around there to where hopefully it keeps water out of it. You know, it's like anything, nothing's waterproof anymore. It says it's water resistant, so you can still get some in here, I would imagine. But I won't know until I get that out on the water and really see. You're not supposed to get stuff in it, but you can. I'm sure if I sink the front of my kayak, I'm probably going to get water in it. Um, but it does have on the front here, it's got a little mark to where you can put a drain in this. It does come with the drain plug here that you have to install yourself. For me, I'm not going to put that in yet. I want to see how it does without a drain plug if I actually get any water in it or not. I want to keep it as sealed as humanly possible since I'm putting a battery in it. I will have electronics and everything like that. But, I mean, it doesn't feel very heavy. I'd have to guess maybe somewhere around five pounds or something like that. But this fits the New Canoe Unlimited, the New Canoe U10, which is new out this year, and the Flint also. As far as I know, if it doesn't fit any other ones, I think it's only those three, but... I do like what I see so far, so let's get into the upgrades. All right, so the first thing I'm going to put on this, on the very front of this, I want to put nav lights on it. That way, if I'm ever out in a low light condition, whether it be early morning, late evening, it's foggy, anything like that, we all want to be as safe as what we can. And I've never had nav lights on my kayak before. I just always use the white 360 light on the transom. So now I want to try to get these out front just to help with my safety. So I've just got two of these little ones here. Everything you see that I put on today has come from Amazon outside of the gear pod. But just two little nav lights, and I'm going to control these by a toggle switch that I'm going to put on the front side here. So these are not marked, so I want to make sure I test them to make sure I'm putting the right ones on the right side. Um, so this is my green one. So your green one always goes on the right side um and i'm just going to mount these right up front here wherever i feel that uh looks good enough for me and then they come with this 3m adhesive tape that you can use just with that or it's got little screw holes in it also i'm going to do both just to be safe for as hot as it is as much sun as we get here i want to make sure these things never come off so I'm going to drill them and I'm going to tape them and uh, we're going to roll with that. All right. So as you can see, I got the first side done. So I just got it drilled through to where my wires come out of the inside here. I used the three end backing tape and the two screws they gave us. But then, so I have bought these soldering um, butt connectors. I've never used them before. One of my buddies swears by them. Um, this is what they look like. They heat shrink around it and then that solder in the middle as you use your heat gun melts itself to help solder the wires together. I'm not very good at soldering myself so that's why I bought these. 
But so I've done that on each connection. Then I've doubled up my shrink wrap tubing on top of that. Just like I said at the beginning, this thing's not supposed to get any water in it. But either way, when it comes to electronics around salt water, I don't mess with it. I want to be as prepared as I possibly can to make sure this stuff stays dry. So let's hook it up to my little battery and make sure this works. And uh, I didn't go too far at first. So, all right, there we go. So you can see green lights on, it's ready to go. So I'm just gonna repeat the uh, process on the other side. So just a quick tip for you guys, show you how I do this whenever I'm doing all of any of my electronics and I'm heat shrinking stuff. So I like to double up my shrink wrap, but I don't put it shrink wrap over shrink wrap. What I do is I'll find the smallest size that I possibly can, and then I will take it halfway onto the connector. So like with this one, it's easy to see because you've got that little solder piece. But as long as you get close, it's fine. So what I'll do is I got my first piece on here and I will shrink wrap it down to the best that I can. All right, so now that that is as tight as what it will get, now I take the bigger piece, feed it on like what you normally do. I guess I should have done this before I started hitting that record button, but you know, that involves thinking, and I ain't gonna do none of that, so you get what you get. But so now I take this, and I go a little bit over the top of the last piece of heat shrink that I done. Same thing, I go a little bit past halfway, that way it's doubled up where that big connection's at and it seals it on both ends very well. And there we go, it's sealed up. It goes further on each side, I feel that way. So, you know, you look at one of these, what are they? They're probably two inches, something like that. But if you can kind of intertwine them a little bit, you know, now you can get it out to three and a half, four inches, and you get a better seal on it. So I prefer doing it that way. I know not everybody does, they just roll with the one way, but with, these connectors heat shrinking and run a double shrink wrap around on top of that. I should be pretty good on everything, never coming apart, never getting water in it, anything like that. Because with these wires on the inside, I'm going to tape them along the side, but I'm going to put all of, I'm going to have a battery in there, and then I'm probably going to have my anchor or my little Plano tackle boxes that I carry with me. That way I can get rid of my milk crate. Everything will go in here. So I need to make sure these connections are the best that they possibly can be. Fingers crossed with doing it this way. It works and it stays that way. All right, so this, uh, whatever side it'd be now, the left side is done. Same, I've done the exact same thing on both sides. So let's hook this puppy up to the battery. Make sure we got some lights. All right, there we go. So cool. Uh, both sides are done. Now I just got to get the switch wired up. So now that I got the two lights on there, I now need to put my switch on. So this is what it looks like. Just a little marine toggle, toggle switch. It'll pop into this. So I need, I'm going to drill a hole here on the front side of this that way. Cause I'm sitting on my kayak. It's nice and easy. I'm going to put the toggle switch on the right side and then my USB and cigarette lighter plug on the left hand side. So let's get this on there. So I now got both lights on, as you can see, both of them on the front. I got my switch right down here. So I got it hooked up to the battery. Let's make sure I didn't do all this work uh, for nothing that these things actually turn on. So sweet, there we go. As you can see here, both of them's lit up. Help me be safe out there on the water. So that's a good start. All right, so I got my new, my other plug put in here now. I did screw up because, you know, I'm an idiot. I broke the prongs off the back of the cigarette lighter one. I put it in there just so you can see what the whole plug looks like. I'm obviously gonna have to order another one of them since I broke that, but 
So this would be the cigarette lighter right here is your USB. So I got three of them. So now I have my toggle switch for my navigation lights. I have my fish finder rigged onto a cigarette lighter plug. So I can plug it in here. And then my camera, my cell phone, uh, my aerator, all that stuff can be plugged in here. So I'll have total on my kayak now, I'll have six USBs. Well, now seven USBs and three cigarette lighters. So there's nothing in the world that I can't power with this thing. Everything fits in here nicely. Hopefully you can see this okay. Um, kind of show you what I've done there. Got all the wires taped up down along the corner so they can stay out of the way. The battery fits up in there very nicely. I should still have enough room for my other Plano boxes. I have three of them, so they should fit in here. Hopefully I can get my anchor in here with it. But I'll show you what I'm working with here. So you just flip the switch. You got your navigation lights that come on. And I don't doubt you'll be able to see it, but we'll try. So on this USB plug, the cigarette lighter always has power, but with the USB, it does not. There's a little button here you have to push. And I don't know if you'll be able to see that or not. You can tell whenever it's got power by the blue light coming on. So it's on, tells me everything's charging. I actually done everything correctly to where my wires all work. Everything has been, like I said, with the butt connectors, with the soldering stuff in them, they are heat shrunk together. I even went back through and um, just being paranoid took uh, electrical tape, went over top of all of that. So there should be no way that any water, if it does ever possibly get into this tote, should get into my wiring system. So fingers crossed everything stays that way. Uh, but let's go put this thing on the kayak and show you what it looks like. Okay, so here's the first look of this inside the kayak. Um, I put my trolling motor on so everybody can see how much room there is between the top of the gear pod and the actual trolling motor um, I won't know how well it de deploys or does not deploy whatever until I get it on the water but there's plenty enough clearance you can see on the right side I have got my camera mount that I will be using and on the left side there is the fish finder and you can see there in the back that's my milk crate that I'm hoping everything goes inside of here and um, one last thing I will say is, in full disclosure, I don't know whether it's my kayak or the gear pod, but I did have to, on where it connects here for the gear track, I did have to hollow out the hole to make it a little bit bigger, um, which to me is no big deal, but I know to some people that would be. But for me, I just took a drill bit pretty close to the same size just kind of hobbled it out a little bit and everything fits the way that it's supposed to you can see here that I've got my motor plug here so it still works in with the gear pod instead of having it up front on that connection but so far everything looks good now let's see if everything fits all right so trying to get everything in first and foremost never want to forget the first aid kit always got to have that guy there and you can see here's one Plano box going in. I don't know what's going to be. All right, so it will not fit in there sideways like that. And I don't think I'm going to have enough room for everything. Not the way I was hoping to, anyway. And I don't quite think this is going to work. Here's a small little Plano box that can go in. It's in there. Yeah. I don't think I'm gonna make everything fit. Oh, no, come on here. Let me give it back. There we go. So that can go there. Yeah. So I think I'm gonna have to downgrade one of these, which this one here I can make smaller. Um Fish grips can stay out. Here's my anchor. And I know a lot of people are going to be like, man, what do you got an anchor? You get the spot lock. 
I always take it just in case I do have any kind of mechanical issues, anything like that, to where uh, if I get in danger, it's an extra rope for somebody to pull me in. Um, you know, if I am having an electrical connection issue, I can always still fish and uh, use that to, um, you know, post up wherever I'm trying to instead of actually using the spot lock. Yeah. So, I mean, this holds a pretty decent amount. Um, Go. there's everything except for one tote which like I said this one I just got like my marine radio some tools um, my trolling motor remote control so a lot of that stuff there I don't I don't need this big of one I'll have to see if I can condense it down a little bit or not but that's still pretty impressive for this smaller of a tote to be able to hold all of that so I like it. I think it's going to work out pretty well for me. Well, that's going to wrap it up. So anybody that's made it this far into the video, I definitely appreciate you watching. Let me know what your inputs are on seeing content like this compared to fishing videos. Because um, I think I said it in my last video, I got some ideas coming up of doing like a cooking show. Um, obviously, there's going to be plenty more fishing, so that's never going to be an issue. But let me know what everybody thinks in the comments down below. Um, you know, anytime I do, if this is stuff you guys like, if I do upgrades on the kayak and you want to see it, let me know. Um, I will link the video down below of when I done my initial walkthrough on the kayak. So if anybody missed that, they can go back and see it. But other than that, I mean, I appreciate everybody watching. Please consider subscribing. Hopefully a lot of cool videos coming up. So stay tuned. And remember, until the next one, it's nice to be important, but more important to be nice.